and spreading ourselves. What the fuck was that? for watching today I am currently in my fall spirits even though it's not obviously officially fall yet but I broke out the flannel and you know my little green scrunchie and I'm just ready to try some new makeup and create a fall look for you guys and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video stick around to see me try out some brand new products that I'm very excited about and other than that let's get into the video all right, first things first, I always prime the lids. And I need to clearly organize my vanity. Let me know if you guys have like vanity drawer organizers that you recommend. That was a strange sentence, but you know what I mean. I like to use a lighter concealer because then the colors obviously stick out more. At least in my opinion. This is just the e.l.f. Camel Concealer. It's very thick consistency. I am so excited for fall guys there's gonna be a lot of exciting videos coming to my channel um, all the fall festivities look out for Halloween tutorials coming soon our annual pumpkin patch it's gonna be so much fun so really make sure that you're subscribed and you have that little bell on so you get notified of all these fun videos all right so next honestly this dries down pretty matte so I feel like I don't really need to set it. So what I'm gonna do is take a makeup wipe before I get concealer all over my flannel. And wipe that off. And we're gonna jump right into the eyeshadow. So first, we are finally breaking into the Pro Fusion Mixed Metals Cool Tones. Bust this baby open. So first we're gonna go in with a fluffy brush, if I can find one. You know me, I always have to clean it off a little bit. Ooh. It's all dirty than I thought. Six hours later. So we're gonna go in with Honest, which is just a beige shade. And we're just gonna go right into the crease. I don't know what I'm going for. Not gonna lie. Um, when I originally put on this green ensemble, I had like a green eyeshadow look in mind and then I realized this palette didn't really have the matte green I was looking for, so now I'm just kind of weighing it. We're just gonna see what happens. All right, all right, all right. Next, we're gonna go in with, I think I wanna go in with a, some kind of brown, I don't know. Pop into my other Profusion palette. I think I'm gonna go in with like this cool tone brown called Tricky. It kind of looks a little bit green. I'm gonna go on the outer V with that. I always say I'm gonna keep it on like the outer edge and then I'm like, I catch myself just blending it all the way through. So I guess that's what we're gonna do now. Just keep on blending. Now we're just doing the exact same thing on the other eye and rubbing eyeshadow all over our face. So, going good, doing well. We're gonna like literally splattering it everywhere. Like, can I calm down? No, I am kind of going for more of like a messy look, says that after I freaking wipe my face, but um, like not so much of like, you know, cut crease, like very in the lines. Like I kind of just want it to be kind of grungy fall i don't know what i'm even talking about but so now that we have that laid down i think i want to go in fallout nation i want to go in with a like deeper cool tone brown do i have that let's see it's kind of cool tone i guess maybe i'm losing my mind this is the morphe jewel crew 9c palette and i'm going in with the chocolate diamond keep blending away like we have been for the past seven minutes and once it's looking pretty nuts like this we're gonna move on to this new product well not new but well it is new it's a different shade um, this is the essence metal shock and this is in the shade <laughs> this is in the shade steel green I don't know it doesn't say 
Because I can't see. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna get real crazy. We're just gonna pop this right on the lip. And like, I'm just basically gonna carve off a little bit of the lip. Yeah, I'm Oh, it's so pretty. I swear guys, these essence, like liquid eyeshadows or whatever you want to call them, are so underrated. Like, they are so good. How gorgeous is that? Like, are we joking? They're really easy to just go like directly on the lid with. And I know, some people probably would like take a brush or whatever, but like, let's be real. I don't feel like it. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Now that that's on, here's what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it because my eyes are shut, but we'll hope you do. We're gonna go back in with that Pro Fusion Cool Tone Palette. And we're gonna go in with like these greeny shades, I think. Just like a little bit on like the outer corner situation. Oh, that's pretty. So this is heavy metal, and this is mystical. I think I'm gonna go in with maybe both. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, mystical's really pretty. I think I might stick with this. Maybe do a little bit of the like golder toned one towards the center. And I'm gonna clean this off with you know makeup wipe after. I just didn't feel like using tape right now. I love how in every video my neck is like that, and I comment on it every time, but do I move my neck? Oh. Okay, I'm going to take the heavy metal shade, which is just in the middle here, and I'm just going to put that in the middle. <laughs> awesome. Okay, now that our eyes looking like that, we're going to take this makeup wipe, get it all off our fingers, and then we're going to clean up the edge. Next, we're going with another new product. This is the Jante Blue Ultra Last Ultra Lasting Formula Professional Art Makeup. I don't know, liquid eyeliner. Got this in my Ipsy bag. Looks like this. And we're just gonna freaking go for it. So far, it draws on eyeshadow pretty good. Draws, like am I losing my mind? That would be yes. I don't know if I already mentioned this, but I'll tell you guys what I think about the products at the end of the video. <laughs> so now that that is on, we're going to fast forward this part because I'm not using anything new. It's just going to be me doing my face makeup, so. Is my concealer a little too light? <laughs> Maybe a little. Alright guys, I am back. Face makeup is on. And now we're going to move on to a bronzer. So as always, going in with my Maybelline Master Bronze. Um, the two darkest shades at the end. Big fluffy brush. Blend it up. I don't know about you, but I keep looking at myself in this flannel and I'm like, where did summer go? Like, don't get me wrong. I love fall. I hate winter, but I love fall. But it's just scary to me. Like, I feel like five seconds ago it was like June. It was really random. I just had to throw that in there. But I am really excited for fall and a lot of fun stuff coming your way. Another new product I received in my Ipsy bag and that was the Estate do me baked highlighter i love this definitely exceeded my expectations and it's so cute <laughs> highly recommend i have no idea where you can buy it but i recommend it 
And I'm just gonna go under the brow bone a little. Next, onto the eyebrows. I'm, uh, I just like looked at myself and I'm like, why do I look so strange? And then I'm like, I forgot to do my eyebrows. <laughs> so let's move on to that. So I'm just gonna take my OG combo, the e.l.f. pencil, brush my brows, fill in the front a little, gel, boom, boom, boom. Next we have another new product, but first I have to curl my eyelashes. So this is the Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara in black, of course. I always see this at the store and it's so cute and I just needed to try it. I love the one SS, SS? the one Essence mascara I have tried in the past, so I'm excited to see how this one performs with oh, lashes. We're gonna go under the lash line. And what are we gonna go under the lash line with, you ask? I don't know. We're gonna go under the lash line with Profusion. Tricky. And we're gonna take just this pointy brush. Now I'm gonna put some of that same mascara on my bottom lashes. Now time to attempt, attempt to get this dot off without smudging it all over my face. And now if I had patience, I would wait. Oh no, I made it worse. Oh no, I made it worse. So now what you do in that scenario, take the beauty sponge and hope that it fixes everything because my dark circles definitely don't need to be any darker. Ha ha ha, not joking. Oh my god, like I'm a mess. What am I doing? Okay, hopefully that's fine. That's as good as it's gonna get. Last but not least, well, kinda last, I am going to share with you guys my new fave chapstick. This is the Vaseline Lip Therapy in the original. They have a rose one that I love as well. And I just wanna put this all over. And then over top, I need to pick it up. I have this Essence Shine, Shine, Shine. I've talked about it before, love it. This is just a clear one. And then lastly, we're gonna take my new fave Wet n Wild Rose Primer Water Setting Spray stuff, I don't know. Cool. Now, this is the final look, guys. Um, I really liked the, where is it? I really liked the Mixed Metals Cool Palette. Um, I would have liked to see maybe a few more mattes, but overall, I think it was really nice. Had a lot of shimmers, but like, the shimmers are really beautiful, so I can't complain. And I pulled a couple matte shades from another palette. Overall quality of the shadows, A+. Moving on to the Essence Metal Shock. Absolutely love this, 10 out of 10 recommend. Beautiful shade and they have like millions of more that I can't wait to try. Next, um, the Jante Blue Eyeliner. It's not like jet jet black and it could be because I have a lot of shimmer on my eyes, but overall it was easy to apply. Give it like an eight out of 10. The Essence Lash Princess. I think it made my bottom lashes like extremely long <laughs> well they're already long but like you know what i mean and i think it did a really good job on my top lashes as well i would say give this one probably an 8 out of 10 as well and then is there anything else this highlighter i probably already talked about it before but 10 out of 10. overall i don't really have any complaints um i'm, I'm pretty fortunate normally like the makeup i choose doesn't usually flop too hard as of yet but yeah, if you guys liked this video, you liked seeing some new makeup, uh, seeing this fall look, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And other than that, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.